Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 18th to the 24th of September 2023. We have a very quiet week, which is quite timely and welcome, as we head towards the autumn equinox on the 23rd when the sun enters into Libra. So it's a week dedicated to balance. At the moment, all the outer planets are retrograde and all the personal planets are direct. So we could look at balancing the personal and the transpersonal. Libra always indicates a realignment of the head and the heart, the masculine and feminine drives. And at this time of year, we're very much withdrawing inwards. So the balance of outer and inner. So meditate on alignment, harmony, balance and flow as we head towards the month of Libra through the autumn equinox. Midweek, we have the sun opposite Neptune. This is the most powerful energy really this week. As the sun blazes with clarity, Neptune is more nebulous and mysterious. So does the sun pierce through a veil of illusion on Tuesday, bringing vision and clarity? Can we be shown where we're holding illusions? Can we see through illusions that we're being shown, but we can feel there's something else going on? It's a very good day for psychic awareness and tuning in to the emotional intelligence of the cells of our body. It's also a good day for cleansing and rinsing those cells. Anything that we're holding on to as Neptune ruler of Pisces is in Pisces and that can be quite a retentive sign holding the emotional memory of things gone by. But Virgo's got a sharper clarity, the sun in Virgo opposite, to pierce through find the reason and the meaning and to use mental discernment to get to the truth. So an interesting annual opposition there of the Sun in Virgo and Neptune at home in Pisces and with oppositions they also call for balance to find the central point. This alignment coming while we're still in the direct wrapping up phase of Mercury retrograde then our minds are sharper now and we can ask insightful questions to ourselves to find meaning and wisdom as during the retrograde we've fine-tuned our minds and got rid of any false beliefs and perceptions. Possible other focus of our attention could be control versus surrender as the Virgo mind likes to know and control and plan but the Pisces has a more spiritual wisdom that everything is happening in divine timing and flow. So on a practical level, when we're still in the first two weeks of the full moon in Virgo, in the intention setting phase, to tune in with Neptune and find what really is the deeper motivation and desire, a calling, if you will, on a soulful level to where we place our energy and then set intentions with the Virgo harvest cycle of nine months to create a structure and break that goal down into step-by-step -step activities. Virgo is also the beginning of the school year and very aligned with teaching, learning lessons to get to the rewards, the harvest of gaining qualifications. So as we head towards the equinox, as we head into the winter months, it's a very good time to consider a course of study. Again, over the next nine month period, taking us to around May time, is there something where we can get our mind to work for us, making steady progress with focused attention and learning something of value. But again, with Neptune opposite, the motivation for wanting to learn whichever subject needs to be felt deeply first, not just accumulating certificates and qualifications in more of a consumer way or even towards external goals. But have a think, what really matters to you? What do you really feel is important? What would you love to give your valuable and vital life force energy and attention to? And with Virgo, it's small and steady progress. So something to apply ourselves to over the course of time, not too overwhelming. But it's amazing what even 10 minutes a day of focus on a specific subject can reap in the long term. So with the meditation, topic of balance in the air all week. Start by asking ourselves to be shown what's out of alignment. And consider some of the oppositions that I've spoken of here and feel where subtle adjustments need to be made. Taking advantage of this rather quiet week and gently looking ahead to making the most of our energy and our mind to set intentions that we can apply ourselves to that will bring the desired rewards, helping us in our constant growth and in a timely fashion. 
So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com. I do chart readings, but I also have courses in astrology, tarot, numerology. So if you'd like to learn more about these intuitive, deep, esoteric studies, then I'm available over the winter for one-to-one Zoom or FaceTime calls, course notes and videos to go with, and we can work at your own pace. And I offer coaching as we're in the constant process of eliminating negative programming a more peaceful, harmonic, sovereign living with right thought, word and action coming from the feeling within to live happy and purposeful lives. These videos are on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. Please like and comment. It does help with the algorithms of the channel. And I post links on my Instagram, Zoe Hind 7 and Facebook, Astro Zoe. So a week of wrapping up, releasing, letting go, turning our focus inwards and preparing for the winter months lots of activity in Virgo, a soulful reminder in Pisces that it's up to us where we focus and that that then determines how we're living and the results that come forth. So wishing you a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.